promoted the economy. Aero gave our young people a different sense because it's a skill and not just a job. Uh, it builds their self-esteem and it builds their confidence. You've got to start from the bottom to the top. And Max, of all people, knows that. And that's why this company is so good, because of Max and Mike. Because these guys know because they started as us. They started as sign spinners. Mike and Max have done a tremendous job in being awesome role models and mentors to these kids. That it really has instilled, I think, confidence in our whole corporate team to be able to convey that sort of leadership and set good examples for a lot of our youth employees. Mike and Max are doing this thing, you know, where they're traveling around the nation for the Extreme Entrepreneur Tour. And they're, you know, speaking to youth between the ages of 14 to 24, which is perfect for us because that's, you know, the age of the kids that we, we really make a difference to, which is so cool because there's so many different elements. You know, you got the advertising side, obviously. You got the sports side, which ties in with the company culture. And then you have the social side and doing good in the community and making a difference in, you know, in these young people's lives. Young people, especially, um, having a different energy you know, come around them because they want to join in this young and energetic company. In Aero, it just kind of fell into place pretty well. It was family and friends who started sign spinning together, and it was family and friends who helped grow the company. It was family and friends who helped continue to grow the company even today. The top 10, 15 people in this company all, all are tied together somehow from like either school or family. I can trust them as a business partner. Yes. It's more like business partner, it's more like you know, friend. And it was kind of a group of friends that were all the first original sign spinners. So I guess it's just that network of relationships. And they're, they're pretty strong here over at Aero. We're all young entrepreneurs. We're all very passionate. Because we're in the people business, not really in the advertising business. The advertising comes with the people. Can you tell them a little bit about me? A what? Can you tell them a little bit about me? I need, I'm gonna need a piece of paper. Right. You Hold better on. write it down, fella. Why don't you long, write long, man? All you guys print? Man, leave me alone. I'm basically there, basically to look after him because he's like 90 years old now. He just had an injury in his leg, so he always tries to do work around the house because he built the house originally, so he's always trying to keep up and stuff like that, so I'm always like stopping him and like basically helping or doing it myself. His job, as far as I'm concerned, if he wants to follow it, he could go higher in the echelon, you know, and uh, Make a career out of it if he wants to, you know. I'm gonna at least be spinning the sign until I can't spin it anymore, <laughs> like physically. Um, after I can't move my back too much anymore, I might start going into sales, you know. You know, maybe become a franchisee or something. Oh, babe, come on, he's hungry. Theodore. He doesn't care. I, I do. I'd rather not him get bit again. Did you get the dog out? Yes, I have been bit. When we first got him, his name was supposed to be Sherman because we wanted like a gumpy name for like a gumpy snake, you know? And then we got him, but we were holding him for a little bit and then we were looking at his scales and the next thing you know, we saw Bob. So we figured he's got to be called Bob Sherman. It only it's natural, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Well, I basically saved him because when we bought him from the reptile place, you can tell the person who owned him before stepped on him or something and crushed his skeleton and you know no one else would take a snake that's basically been crushed in so he eats fine he's he acts like a normal snake so i took him in yeah, that's sorry that's the dog i just bought with my, my pepsi check oh i've always wanted a dog and i can't take care of a big dog so got a little dog oh it makes you feel good about yourself i guess you know feed the snake feed the dog feed the cats go to work half rope clean the room Everything goes normal. The cats don't fuck with the dog. The dog doesn't fuck with the cats. And we don't pull the snake and the rat out at the same time. It works out. <laughs> the whole reason I like Bob Marley is because everything he says in his songs are truthful. And uh, a lot of people will probably just think it's some reggae music that you listen to every now and again. But if you really take the time and listen to what he's saying, he says a lot of truthful, meaningful quotes. Be truthful to yourself. Being truthful to myself, I do what I love to do. Spin that sign.
I don't I don't live in the best neighborhood, but um, or my mom. Um, this is, but this is a neighborhood I was raised in. I grew up in. Um, it's known as Naked City. Uh, I heard a lot of stories why they call it Naked City. Uh, the one I think I like the most is like a lot of the strip clubs was right here off Industrial, and they said all the strippers like lived in these apartments, and so a lot of the strippers would take off their tops and sit on the sidewalk and like tan and. And this is how they got their tans for their shows that they were doing. So, you know, that's how it kind of got its name, Naked City. I don't know if that's the real reason why they call it Naked City, but that's, uh, that was just my favorite one. Hey, team. Yeah. And so, yeah, this is my residence. We met in high school. He caught my eye because he, um, he wanted to be the spotlight all the time, and I'm not used to someone being all, crazy all the time. He really loves his job. And I think it's real good. It's, it's great to see him getting up in the morning, getting ready to go to work. I see you, team. I'm going to work. I said, all right, have a good day. Then he out of here. He be up and on prop. He loves his job. I, I think it's real nice. This is my little one. Kind of Hi, big. Take her, take her, take her, take her, take her, take her, take her. She just woke up, so she got kind of out of it still. but. So you're right. Hey, hey. Say hey. The <laughs> <laughs> Lanaya is born November 25th of 08. So a whole year ago almost. It was good. It was. He was excited. I was excited. And I could tell he wasn't going to be like a deadbeat dad or anything. And so I was happy that it was with him and not anybody else because he was a great choice. This is the street I grew up on. We used to play football right here, yeah, like across the street or in the street. And, and then when taxi drivers <gasps> almost run us over, we throw the football at their taxi. It was pretty funny back then. She's a daddy's girl already. Like, all he does is like, me and my daughter, me and my daughter. Every time, like, he's the one that plays with her 24 seven and can never be strict with her. So she's always wanted to be with him all the time. She's all, he's always making her laugh and playing with her, trying to take her places and buying her clothes and stuff. He's a, he's a great dad, he is. He loves her, I can tell. <laughs> so now we're back on the road. How long can you hold your breath for? How long? It's crazy because it really is like little by little because I remember I was excited when she first started smiling like a lot and then I was excited when she first started making little noises and yelling and then I got excited her crawling and, you know just on and on like little by little even she becoming she's getting a little older and it's just it's just exciting seeing her grow up. Yeah, this is this is my weekends right here. My weekends get a little hectic because I gotta take you know the quickest shower and then just jump right back out and get ready for the other job. Hey, I love you. What's the meaning of those words? I have no fucking clue. So fuck the world. She's my everything. You know, I, I I tell my girlfriend all the time. I got I got three girls. I got you, my daughter, and my car. <laughs> and so them, them my my three girls right there. And so and then, uh, pretty much my life I, I base it off. First and first is family, and then second is working. Do I do we like him? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> I love him. I do. Breath is free. How long can you hold your breath for? started spinning signs that was you know sort of my outlet I, I I used to think sign spinning wasn't so cool and all my guys all my friends doing it on the corners I used to like make fun of them and laugh at them and stuff like that 
and then they were all getting you know skateboards and buying cars and things like that so i was like man then you know you guys are making some good money doing this shit. let me see what it's about you know so i was like man i'm gonna get a street bike got that street bike and i've been a rider ever since man So Randy's about to perform the classic box out move right here. We've got a sign holder across the street and uh, he was trying to do a couple tricks. So Randy's gonna have to box him out and kind of show him who's boss on the corner. All right, well check it out. I'm a big Oda fan and that guy on the rebounds is a beast. And the key reason of why he's a beast on those rebounds is because his box out game is my name is Randy Jenks. I'm 22 years old. Well, the best spinner in the Los Angeles market is um, you, yours truly. Everybody loves a smile. Isn't that right? Pretty good. Everybody right. loves a smile. Well, it's just, I wasn't the best kid. It was me, my younger brother, and my older sister. My older sister was addicted to drugs. My mom was addicted to drugs. My father was a drug dealer. So when I learned the ropes of how to make money, the only person that was had a direct influence on me in making money or providing for a family or anything like that was my dad. So you can uh, you can. Uh, put two and two together and guess what career I started down at a young age. I went to jail for about three days. My friends weren't there, nobody was there, and I just totally wanted the exact opposite for myself. And I thought back in the day when I was doing, you know, the not so positive stuff, I was thinking, you know, hey, this is the, this is where I'm gonna end up if I keep on this path. So I got out of jail I was like, hey, you know, I'll come work with you guys, you know, let's let's give this a shot. So I started flipping signs. I really liked it. I saw all these guys that are really into the sport aspect of it all. Oh, man, I, I love my job. It's it's very fun. Every day is different. I get to interact with, you know, a lot of the youth, and I get to act as a mentor. So it's kind of like I get, you know, the best of all worlds. Man, well, I just recently purchased the Los Angeles market, and um, it was a good purchase. I, I mean, I helped grow basically did grow this, me and my brother Jeff, man, and it's, I mean, since I've, you know, been able to grow the business and then finally purchase it, now it's my own. I'm really excited, I'm really motivated. It's all about the box out, baby. So, let's see if the box out works. Oh, what? where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where is he going? Did you see him? Wow, hey Randy. High five. Very effective. The classic box out. Very effective. Yeah. And make them realize that I've epitomized the rise from absolutely nothing to the sky. My position in Arrow currently is the director of training. Pretty much, I just try to help people spin signs like me. It's not like I went through this training to be as good at sign spinning as I am. I just practiced a whole freaking lot. If I'm gonna do this, I better be good at it. All right. So, my name is Justin, and I'm the director of training, and I'm here to run a practice for you guys. S stretches, warm ups, strength builders, new tricks, drills, activities, competitions, and knowledge. Why do they come to the practice? Because they love to do this stuff. 